Yes. So this is what I do when I'm trying to help a student improve a bow. Okay, I just take the violin out of the picture. I have them hold their bow in their left hand, you know, and then I go in. I lift my elbow a little so that the tip of my thumb is facing the sky. Because if I don't lift my elbow, that's not happening. And then I just stick it in there, and I want this to touch the hair bent. Okay. Then I drape these two over the frog. I rest this lightly. I rest this lightly and then I let go. Now, we're just going to try that. Okay? I'll put your viola somewhere. I'll put that one below. I'll put this one over here. There. So, hold your bow in your left hand. Okay? Now, get your thumb with your elbow. The majority of the bulk of our hand weight is going to be on this face of the bow. Do you understand face? Yeah. So this is a face, this is a face, and this is the top face. Okay? You like to have a lot of your bow on the top face. We want the majority. Okay, I want the majority of your <laughs> hand to be living on this face of the bow. Do you see how mine is yeah, living on this side? That's right. Because if I'm here, then I'm on the top face, yeah. but I want to be on the inside face of the boat. So see now, by thinking that way, you are able to bring these down. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be your trick 